Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up, how is it going? I woke up this morning and so many things dropped today. Lots of covers, lots of B-side music videos, but I'm not going to have time to get to those. I'll watch them on my own time, but I don't think I'll be able to watch them and react to them. But, A-T's came back with Deja Vu today, and I'm definitely reacting to that because I've never heard this song before, and I'm super excited. Yeah, I'm just excited. So let's just go. And Mingy's back. Mingy's back. Mingy's been back for a bit, but Mingy's back. And yeah, I'm here for it. So let's go. Oh, okay. I like it. Oh, this is new for them. This is so new for them. Are you willing to come down, please? Oh my gosh. I will always be amazed by the visuals in this group. Okay, son. Okay. Oh, this is too good. You know, stop. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, okay. ATs has a very specific sound and it has a little bit to do with their voices but it has a lot of it a lot of it a lot to do with the instrumental and the feeling that you just get from the song um hang on <coughs> I'm still getting over my cold guys <laughs> even in kingdom I talked about how like I felt like Stray Kids got a little bit away from their sound, which is good because, you know, that's the whole point of the show, kind of, is to do new things, things people wouldn't expect. And I was excited that their comeback sounded a lot like them. And I feel like this is the total opposite because I felt like ATEEZ's approach to Kingdom was to take songs that don't sound like them and make it sound like them. And it was super cool. And... I then oh my gosh and their song at the end um the real one of my favorite 80s songs ever I forgot to turn off my AC one of my favorite 80s songs ever and I was expecting something like that you know because it sounds so 80s but this is literally like this is so new for them this is like groove this is like 80s meets EXO and like old XO, like call me baby XO. Um, and I'm dying because it's so good. Not to mention like this, there's like a little laugh at the end of, and you know, and the visuals and oh my gosh. I always think I have a bias in 80s and then you know comes along and I'm like, guess not. See that little laugh, okay. Yes, on June. That's so sexy. I'm so sorry. Just that flow. Oh my gosh, Mingi. <gasps> the inhale. I cannot. Now they're doing like a like a race. Racer theme? Oh gosh. Yes, I can stop. Oh, it's so good. It's 
so good. And I love, I love that it's minor and they're playing around with all of the chords and scales and... <laughs> oh no. Ooh, the beat and the bridge. Go, go Drungo, go. Oh, I was not expecting that. <gasps> that. Ha la la. This is taking me for a roller coaster ride. Oh no, that was too good. No. The hit, hit, drums, hit. And it's raining and they're wet. Oh my gosh. You know? Oh my god. Mangy! Okay, this is like the best part of the song. I know there's a significance of the time turner in 80s. Do I know what said significance is? No, I do not. Um, I feel like they've definitely explained it before, and I've definitely read about what it is, and I always forget, but I know they had it in Kingdom 2, and I freaked out when I saw it, um, especially because that's when they, they did Pirates of the Caribbean, and it was so good! And, I mean, it wasn't Pirates of the Caribbean, but it was Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, I can't, I can't, that bridge to ending, at first I didn't really love the bridge, um, but then, you know, I was expecting, like, they, they showed Jungho, and I was, Jungho, Jung, Jungho, <laughs> I feel like when I'm sick, I can't say all of these names correctly, um, <coughs> but they showed him. And I was like, all right, so he's gonna hit a high note and then we're gonna go right back into the chorus, you know, it's gonna be good. But he hit like a medium note and then everything just like faded and went like very pianic, piano, instrumental, orchestral, twinkle twinkle sounds. And they, they kind of like slid right back into the chorus without anyone even knowing. And it was so cool. And you, I know there was Jung Ho Ablibs at the end, just a little bit, but then instead of him having like major high notes like he always does, they took Mingi and Hong Joon and were like, you do like rap ad lib kind of thing and do it. And they did. And I wasn't the hugest fan of Inception or Firework. They weren't bad. I know there's like a fight between the fans. Among, among the fans that are like, which which title track is better, um, Inception or Thanks, and I'm Thanks all the way. So I think from that you can tell what kind of songs I like from the 80s, usually more like, ha la la. Am I saying that right? I don't think I've ever said that title track out loud. Is that how, is that how it's spelled? Is it literally ha la la? Ha la la. <laughs> I was like, I know that sounds wrong. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's Hala Hala. I like the songs like Hala Hala, Thanks, Wonderland, Answer, like those kinds of songs. Pirate King. Pirate King's up there. But this, like, this doesn't sound like anything ATs has ever done before. And they did it so well. I feel like ATs can do it like any genre. I feel like they need to branch out a little more. And I'm glad that they're starting to do that, and I'm excited to see. Uh, the other songs on this album, Fever Part 3, there's been so many fevers. That's it for me today. I had such a great time, and I hope you guys had such a great time, and I hope everyone has a great rest of your Monday, and bye. Okay. <laughs> I'm such a big fan. My brain just stopped working. What was I gonna say? Oh, 